Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Arcade. Try it level now. Of the Gauntlet Arcade Cabinet Scratch Build. In this video, guys, we are going to be doing the T molding. This is what we're going to do in this video. Now, I got this T molding from tmolding.com from America. Um, I normally get the T molding here in the UK from Arcade World, but um, funny enough, they didn't have any black T molding. They probably had six feet of T molding, and that wasn't going to be enough to do. Um, to do the two sides, so um, I had to order it from um, the next best thing, um, tmolding.com. I also ordered something else from them as well, and I won't tell you what I ordered until later on in the video. I want to get on with this, but before we get on with this, the tmolding, I want you guys to tell me what I'm going to use this item for on this build here. It's going somewhere on this gauntlet cabinet but I want you guys to tell me where it is it's going to go. I'll give you a little clue. I've got to spray this black. <laughs> okay, it is a grill and I want you to tell me down below. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think it's going to be for. Now, I'll probably give you the answer in part 11 of this build. So keep on watching, okay? And I'll let you know what I'm using it for. And there will be a clue later on in the video, I can guarantee it. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Right then, so we got the T mold in. Now this is for one side. I can't find my rubber hammer anywhere. So I have to use this little hammer here. Um, hopefully it'll work, if not. <laughs> End the video. Um, and also got some um, snips to cut the, the actual T mold in itself to go around the corners and all that business. And a Stanley knife as well. Can't go wrong with a Stanley knife. So um, the plan is bring the camera forward. Um, I'm going to do the two sides together. I'm going to start down here and I'm going to work the way around and get to this point and then go over to the other side and do that and then we're gonna sort of flip the cabinet around to its back, do all the back and then we're gonna have to put the cabinet on the side and do the bottom and then flick it back up and then do the front and then that would be it so let's get going on it I think first things first, we're going to have to sort of square this cabinet up so you can see the both sides. So we're going to do that now. I'll just take the camera back a little bit and um, get it in position and let's get going on it. Now normally um, the T molding is normally the last job to do. Um, normally put the side art on and then put the T molding on. Um, but with the gauntlet um, side art, uh, it doesn't actually come all the way to the edge. It's probably about a couple of inches all the way around. So you don't have to trim the side art. Um, so that's why I'm doing the T molding now. And um, yeah, so happy days. Let's let's go. Let's go and let's get this done. I want to snip these uh, ties off. Now I got roughly about twenty feet per side. I think when I measured it, it was roughly about sixteen feet of T molding. And that is with a little bit of play as well. Um, so I ordered 40 feet. Um, because I think tmolding.com, they only did it in 20 feet rolls. So I ordered 40 feet. And um, yeah, so I can use it on another project. Um, another little, you know, light box or, or, or something like that. So um, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So... Um, 
Let's pick a nice, I'll just clean this up, get it all nice and straight, and we'll start down here. Now, we may have to hot glue some of it, but um, we'll we just have to find out if we need to. Um, so, nothing worse than um, it popping out. So straight away we got a bend. So I need to snip that off. I want to start here because um, when we end, we're going to end up on a nice straight run here so I can just snip them off nice and straight, job done. If, if I did it the other way I'll have to end up where I'm going to start now and it'd be an awkward cut there so um, hence why I'm starting there. So again on your corners just sort of cut it like a V shaped and V shaped out of the T mold. I, I need to get proper T mold and cows but um, at the moment in time um, they're quite expensive <laughs> and I can't afford it. <laughs> It'll be something like that at the back if you can see it. Okay so when it bends over it'll get a nice Nice tight fit in, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and do it. I won't show you all, I'll fast forward it anyway, guys, alright? I'm gonna pour you. It's quite flexible, this T Morgan, as well. Just going sort of up, up and over, and then um, we're going to do the other side, um, and then we're going to fit the cabinet around, and um, yeah, so that'll be that'll be it. But yeah, I mean it does mark a little bit when you're tapping it down, so especially here. Sort of dented it a little bit, but um, it's easily, yeah, it's not as strong as I'd like it to be, to be fair. But um, yeah, just slip this end off. Okay, I've cut the um, the first slot, 
to go in now, so we're all ready to go. Give them a clean anyway at the end. Just nice flexible uh, T molding to be fair. Some of it can be quite stiff. So I need to flip the camera around now. Uh, just camera? I need to flip the cabinet around now. So you can see the back. It's not a gloss finish on the T molding, it's a matte finish, so it goes with the cabinet. Plus, you don't want to be doing this when the monitor's in, the PC's in, it's going to be so heavy, so this is why it's good to do it now. Cab and um, so we're gonna go, we'll go down. So I can't see. <laughs> so we're gonna go down to this point, go down to that point, and I'll move the camera down, okay.
curve there. See guys what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna do this last bit here and then go back over there and do the last bit there and then we're gonna flip the cabinet on its back. Um, need to put a sheet down to protect the T-molding because it will be led down on the side well up here a bit but um, yeah. Okay guys, this is where we are right now. Um, we've done the back. I've taken the, the doors off um, to make sure that it doesn't pull the T-mold in. Um, it's a little bit too tight, so um, I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna have to shave a bit more from the two sides um, so it's not so tight in. Um, I have to pop them into work and do that because um, the guys at work have got all the tools to do that and um, yeah so at the moment we need to um, we got to the these points here um, we need to flip the cabinet on its side uh, sorry on its back and then to do the bottom run uh, on both sides and then flipping back turn the cabinet back round so the front is facing and then we can finish the final um, sections off yeah so it's not too bad I've done a little bit of damage um, on the sides here um, and down there where it was it, basically the, the, the back panels are too tight for my liking they will come out um, but I, I like a like a nail on each side um, just so it can just pull out when I take the screws out and I've also put the um, the lock on now um, which is good um, so yeah so let's um, let's try and um, suss this out because we need to tip him on the back and we don't want to damage the T-molding so we're gonna have to put a cloth down or, or something so um, let me um, let me put the camera back on the tripod and let's go from there right guys I just um, lifted the cabinet up a little bit um, because I want to I want to be able to um, do this bit here and um, I was thinking well if I can wrap it around 
down to there at least then um, we can flip the cabinet on the side and it won't crush this this little bit here so I'm going to head and, and cut that now and top them in Right, we need to put the cabinet back down and then we're going to flip them over. All my strength. Yeah. Just got to make sure this is out of the way. Whew. Now we've got it from the um, other angle now, we can come up here now and hopefully I don't have to get the hot glue out. Final bend. I think I'll leave the ca cabinet like this for now. It would be easier to snip off, I think. So let's go ahead and do this one. Make sure it's nice and tight.
see moulding goes well with the cab. Nice matte finish. The only issue I've got, it, it does mark fairly easy, so I don't know. I mean, with a rubber mallet, a bit more weight behind it, and, and a cloth would probably be alright to be fair. But there's some marks on it already, and that's without me tapping. There you go guys, the T moulding's on. And I think it's quite a good little, well, quite a good finish. I'm just snipping the ends off, because you don't really need to see any of that because the uh, control panel's going on there. So there's the front, very happy with that. It's a nice T moulding. It does mark slightly. But um, I'm not that bothered about it to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's going to get more uh, marks on it as uh, we build it. But um, I think for now it looks pretty good. So let's get the cabinet back on its back up, um, upright and um, we'll take a closer look at the T wall and see what it looks like. Well there you go guys, um, the two mouldings on and boy does that look pretty good. It is starting to take shape now guys, even with the two moulding on it just transforms the cabinet even more. Um, whew, that was a bit tricky but um, we got them on, I'm very happy with the result and um, I do like the um, the black T moulding, um, it you know it's nothing special, but it just sets off the cabinet. It just finishes it off. I mean, look at that. Um, once I get the uh, coin doors and um, coin frame in as well, it's going to look pretty good. Um, but now we've done the T moulding, there's no reason why we can't sort the speakers out, get the monitor in, get even the PC in. You know, let's get it all in, and then um, you know, we've got we need to sort out uh, some sort of bezel around the monitor. Um, I'm gonna have to make one um, if I can find one now. You know, yeah, happy days. But uh, what's the chance of me finding a gauntlet bezel? You know, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, you know. I'm not worried about that yet, but yes, um, so yeah, I think um, once we get all that in, the next mission is the um, control panel. Now, um, I've sussed out the team holding for it, um, 
But what I haven't sussed out is what type of joystick I'm going to put in there. Um, but I will um, show you guys what I bought from um, tmolden.com as well and from RK World in a moment. But I just want to explain about the control panel. Now the control panel I've cut a cup already and it's 18 millimeters. Now um, I'm thinking of getting if they do an MDF in 15 millimeter and then maybe have two millimeters of uh, a metal sheet and then maybe I'm thinking of um, maybe put an acrylic over the top of the control panel to protect the artwork. I don't know yet, I haven't decided yet. I don't know what you think guys, should I do that? Or should I just keep it um, like the original? Um, bear in mind that, you know, you're gonna get wear and tear on the control panel and, um, you know, the acrylic's gonna protect that artwork. So um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but anyway, let me just show you guys what I bought from tmoldin.com and Arcade World. Right then, guys, what's in the box? Well, let's start with Arcade World, because I, I had to get something from Arcade World. And um, basically, I picked up some nice arcade buttons. And they're uh, a pseudo hap button. Uh, more about them in a minute. And I also got some locks for the coin doors. They're important. So um, and they work off one key. So that's great. So that's what I got um, from Arcade World. And um, I decided to get this type of button um, because obviously gauntlet cabinet is a black um, concave button and um, I went with um, Sousa Hap button because of what's in box number two from tmoulding.com yes we had the tea moulding in here but there's something else in here which is very very good for this build right let's open them up Apart from the tea mold in, which I put back nicely because I didn't need it, we got some cows, guys. So now we have one of these. Now they're called Roly Leaf Switch. Now a leaf switch. It's designed to go on the arcade button. Now back in the day, in the 80s, 70s, 80s, they had these type of buttons. Okay? Now I cannot stand today's buttons, the clicky clicky ones. I can't stand that noise. On every single cabinet, the two cabinets I've got, the bar top, I've got all this type of button. So we don't want that. <laughs> Not in the arcade gauntlet build. We want this. And this really new switch from tmoulding.com. It's new, it's not old. Um, does the job. Now I haven't connected it up, but it feels fantastic. Now if we put the two together. Okay. Let's try and focus. Right, clicky clicky on the left first. Okay, now the leaf switch. Now if I try not to hit the button too hard, and now the... And I tell you what, this feels... This feels like the good old days. Now that's why I want it. And I, you know what, I might even think of be, be putting all this in in the bar top and on, on the arcade cabs. The only thing that you can't use these leaf switches for are for 
LED buttons. Now there's no reason why you can't mod, mod it yourself by drilling a hole here and putting in the LED there. I think you can do it that way but the LEDs used to go, well they, they go up there so they need a separate end and with this type of uh, switch you can't do that. But There's no reason why you can't drill into the side and put your LED that way. But that's it guys, look at that. It's going to feel exactly like the original gauntlet buttons. Now for the joysticks, I haven't got them but I want leaf switches on the joysticks or something similar. So we don't get the clicky clicky left, right, up, down. We don't want that. So um, yeah. So that's it then, guys. On that, that's what I got from Team Molding and Arcade World. Um, yeah. So what do you think about that? Have you ever seen these before? <laughs> no, I never come across them. I knew you could get old stock, but um, very hard to get uh, hard to get a hold of. And I think this is the right way to go with this roly leaf switch from tmolding.com and um, not very expensive I think they're about $2.95 or just under $3 so um, I ordered eight that's all I need um, for now um, yeah so happy days hey guys um, different angle um, I can't show you the gauntlet cabinet at the moment because um, I've done more work and I don't want to spoil it for the next video. So um, there's a few things I've got to say guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm also on Patreon now so um, <laughs> if you'd like to um, help the channel then feel free to do so. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care guys, I'm going to be playing Bomb Jack now because I'm not allowed to play Gauntlet until the camera's built. So take care. See you later. Bye.